and I was assigned to the uh, 347th Infantry Regiment of the 87th Infantry Division. We went them by truck and by foot, and we were in the, in the Siegfried Line, and we were under fire by German 88s. It pinned us down for several hours. The morning of the 16th, we attacked uh, from one hill across the valley. We uh, dug in that night in slit trenches in the center of this forest. And uh, at that point, uh, things changed. Uh, we, I woke up in the middle of the night and we heard voices speaking in German. We saw a group of men standing and some other men with flashlights. And I was about to fire on them when I didn't like the, didn't like the look of it and I decided not to fire. My assistant BAI man, he says, I'm out of here, and he took off for the rear. With that, there were a lot of tracer bullets that were fired at him, and I decided that was not the right thing to do. So I hid myself in the slit trench, and I was there probably 15 minutes. It seemed like an hour. Subsequently, a, a German soldier came. He had a flashlight, showed the flashlight in the slit trench, and there I was when I became a prisoner. I joined the group that I fortunately decided not to fire on. Members of my own company, who included the, the, uh, the first sergeant and a couple of other uh, platoon sergeants. They took us off the hill into a town. Before dawn, uh, they marched us out of the camp under artillery fire. At the end of the next day, the 18th, which was my 19th birthday, we arrived at the first uh, transit camp. We got our first taste of POW rations, which weren't too bad at the time. Uh, we had soup, uh, barley water, and some uh, brown bread. Uh, we had uh, four men on a fairly large piece of, piece of bread, and we were moved by boxcar. The problem uh, with the boxcar is I was one of the first groups in the line. They just shoved everybody in the boxcar, and they filled up the boxcar, and we were in the boxcar for uh, four days and three nights. We got out once, they gave us some dry rations, and unfortunately, because we all couldn't sit down at the same time, uh, there was a lot of problems with the guys. It was a, it was a real difficult transport. We moved to Stuttgart, from there to uh, Fallingbos. I was there until the end of the war. There were probably about two to 300 Americans, about 600 British, and uh, 7,000 French, and over 30,000 Russians. So there were two of us in a bunk. It was wooden slats, no mattress, uh, which really was a good thing because dry mattresses harbored lice, and this would have made it that much worse, although we were loaded with lice in any case. At that point, we were on about eight men on a loaf of bread. I was liberated by the British. Uh, I, we, they kept us in the camp for about five days, which was kind of difficult because all we were eating was bully beef with canned beef, which was awful. Canadian Air Force flew us out on, and we were returned to Army control in uh, Oxford, England, 